when you trust Ferguson Roof Systems to replace your roof, we go the extra mile to protect your home and property. On every job, we deploy durable netting to protect your home's exterior and landscaping. It's just one more reason why you should call Ferguson Roof Systems today. Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Aaron Tuttle with you. It is Monday night about uh, almost 9 o'clock. I've been watching the Cowboys whoop <laughs> Tom Brady. I'm going to go back to that. So this is going to be a really short, abbreviated weather update. But just in case you didn't read my blog earlier yesterday or today, uh, this will be a quick little video discussion of uh, what's coming our way for the week and into the weekend and how the big pattern change is coming up to bring us some much colder air for the following week. So thanks for joining me out there on the Facebook world. Uh, also on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, always make sure you like and share the content, the video, the channel. That way, Facebook and Rumble and YouTube, all the algorithms know that that's exactly what you want so that they give you more of it, right? That's usually kind of the way it works out. Uh, so again, thanks you guys for checking. I see you, Jim from Mustang. Sally also coming in from Tuttle this evening. You guys are usually all over the place, um, which is good. So I got, I got watchers sometimes from all over the world when I look at the numbers. It's pretty crazy. All right, <clears throat> so let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, by the way, on Facebook, let me post the link like I always do. If you want to opt in and get notified when I go live through your direct messenger, uh, you can click on that and then you will not miss out. Okay, so here's a look at the big picture. By the way, Robert, thank you for the stars on Facebook. I see you there, homie. So glad you got my back in that department. Here's a look at the world, big picture here. So let me do this first. Uh, usually start with the jet stream pattern. This is the easiest thing to do. Showed you the upper level storm systems. And our first one uh, kind of scooted off to our north here today is up across the central plain state. So, you know, you notice a little bit of a change in our weather. You know, the winds picked up, had some cloud cover, that kind of stuff, but nothing too dramatic. Uh, the second one here coming in, this will be our main one for the middle of the week. This is for Wednesday, but once again, it's up to the north. So most of the energy is associated with it is going to be coming into Kansas. So we kind of get a glancing blow here in Oklahoma. And remember, the center of these little circles is where you find your area of low pressure. So there you go. There's one there. There's one there there's one there and there's another big one coming in off of here so our focus of course is the one that's right in our neck of the woods okay so that provided with us some rainfall for the middle of the week not a whole lot at least a little bit and then that one coming off the west coast I just showed you look how it drops down across the desert southwest by friday then this starts to work in here saturday night into sunday so here's the red river valley saturday evening and then it the, looks like the upper low comes right across Oklahoma, pretty much the southern, uh, southern half of the state. So this is a pretty good signal for a little mixture of rain and snow if we can get cold enough aloft. That's always the key word. Can we be cold enough to get a little bit of snow on the backside? If you look at the forecast sounding out there, uh, when you look at the numbers, it's close. The, the, the saturation is there in the profile. Uh, the temperature spread, there's a little drier here to saturate um, and still cool down the column a little bit more. Dew point temperature, though, are into the mid-30s. So that's, that's a little on the dicey side of just pretty much getting uh, cold raindrops. But the model indication does say mm, you might have a little snow mixed in. So it's an easy call to say a little bit of rain and snow mix. No significant accumulations, no problems. But that would be for Saturday night and a Sunday morning across parts of Oklahoma. Then the next system comes in quickly on its heels and drops across us over a Monday night into Tuesday with another quick round of snow. So let's see how that looks. We'll go to this map here for you. So again, here's the first round moving through. You can see those scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning across the eastern half of the state. Then those move on out. So it's a pretty quick moving system. Some snow across the Kansas and the uh, Nebraska area and up northward from there, the Great Lakes, as that system rolls on by. Then on Friday night, Saturday, the system out west we talked about gets organized. There's a little scatterings of some possibly snow uh, rain mixed here for beginning as Saturday, or early as Saturday midday, but otherwise more snow across the Texas panhandle with that. That system um, doesn't really have a whole lot of moisture with it here for Oklahoma and Texas, so it kind of falls apart a little bit. There's still a resemblance, though, of some light precipitation here across our region for early Sunday morning, and that's out of here. Then there's that secondary uh, push of the snow here across central Oklahoma. That's a pretty heavy-looking signal there for midday Monday into Monday evening 
Uh, and then that stuff moves away Monday night into Tuesday morning into Arkansas, uh, Missouri. Pretty good signal there for some heavy snow as that little upper level low moves on by. So pattern is changing. There we got obviously some more rounds of snow potentially after that. If we look at the 26, a pretty good strong cold front should be making its way into the state. And we might get a little bit more snow associated with that Arctic front. Uh, so that is kind of what's the next big story. By the way, just for fun, I'll show you what the European thought uh, the snow would be within that. Now, as always, grain of salt. And we'll, of course, fine tune this as we get closer. And I'll zoom in to a little closer so we can see what the numbers look like. I would assume that uh, Missouri have a pretty good total. And it might even go nuts over parts of central Oklahoma. And it does. There's a foot of snow or two feet <laughs> to uh, western Missouri, tra trailing back into northeast Oklahoma and down into the metros, six to seven, eight inches of snow. This, again, according to only one model, the European model, and this is just new. Remember, this is going to be massaged and changed and updated throughout the week, but let you know that's the signal we're working with. All right, what else are we working with? Here's a look at that Arctic air up north. Uh, so looking at a top-down view of the North Pole. All right, so this is the North Pole. This is Siberia. This is Canada and the U.S., down the south part of your picture. So all this cold air, the minus 40s, minus 50s uh, Fahrenheit, is going to work its way southward um, on into the United States. So as you go through motion, watch your watch this little areas right here. You'll see some Carly Q spins that spin out of Alaska and then zip down in, into Canada. And that is the release of the Arctic Hound. So there's a there's the little leading edge right there. Here comes a secondary leading edge, and then boom, that one drops right into the U.S. So the question, of course, is, and that's on the 24th. So if we go to this viewpoint, and I jump to the 25th in the morning, this is a, an example of what could be on our doorstep. Remember, this is a long ways out. We're, we're talking on the 25th of the month. But it's got us into the single digits and teens here across the state for Wednesday morning. Now, there could be quite a bit colder than this. could be a little bit warmer. It is going to be a pattern change regardless in a nice change if you want some winter weather back around here. Here's a look at the snow signals for the European data. So um, you can see how the ensembles do indicate quite a bit of snow signals in the data for the different runs as we head into as early as the uh, 22nd. Um, and then we've got that secondary batch here for the 24th into the 25th, kind of peppered around. It looks like another little batch trying to sneak in here toward the end of the month, around the 29th or 30th. So the point being is we're in an unsettled pattern. The models really won't have a very good handle of that. If we do take the European for face value, like we said, we get up to around 6 to 7 to 8 inches of snow here in central Oklahoma. And you can see temperatures will drop from that Monday into Tuesday quite a bit to 20 to 28 degrees with snow on the ground here for the following week. You can see how temperatures do come down a little bit, though, over the next few days after some really nice weather uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Uh, so again, some pretty decent weather on Wednesday. If we take a model blend, we're into the 50s over the Thursday, Friday time period. A little bit cooler, though, back into the weekend. More like we should be, you know, uh, upper 40s and then some 30s at night, just barely below freezing. And then, again, the 24th to the 25th, this is where if you take the European as the outlier, as the winner, all these numbers have to come down, and we'll be dealing with a little bit of precipitation. So there you go. So that was the quick and dirty. That was your halftime forecast because I'm in a hurry. Kim, by the way, thank you for some stars tonight. Doug also sent me some stars there on Facebook, so thank you very much, as always. <laughs> yeah, hurry up so we can watch Tom lose. Listen, I am a Tom Brady fan, believe it or not. He is the GOAT, but I will say this, man. When you have personal problems at home, like he's had to suffer with or deal with, it will mess you up as far as your ability to just perform you know, at your peak. So you got to hand it to him. He's giving it his all, given the situation he's in. Outside of that, it is football season. Anything can happen. All right, listen, i got to get out of here, but I appreciate you guys stopping by here for tonight. Thanks, as always, for liking, sharing, and following. Make sure you check out my blog at AaronTuttleWeather.com. Get my weather app, AT's Weather to Go. It's free on Apple and Google Play. Just search my name or just search the term AT's Weather, and it should populate for you. And I'll be giving you updates off and on throughout the next few days as we talk about the snow and the cold. You guys have a great rest of your MLK, and we'll see you later on this week. Take care.